Welcome to TLS 7, Quarter 1, ICT Week 2. For Week 2, our topic is Qualities of Successful Entrepreneurs in the Field of ICT and Occupational Safety and Health or OHS Standards in ICT. Qualities of Successful Entrepreneurs in the Field of ICT First, let us define what is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship starting and running a business by taking risks to make a profit. While entrepreneur, someone who starts their own business and takes risks to create something new. So these are the qualities of entrepreneurs in the field of ICT. First, we have creativity. Successful entrepreneurs are good at thinking of new and different ideas to solve problems and make their business stand out. Professionalism Entrepreneurs act in a mature and responsible way like following rules, being honest, and treating others with respect. Risk-taking being an entrepreneur means being brave and willing to take chances even if it might not work out to make progress and grow their business. Passion Successful entrepreneurs have a strong love for what they do, which keeps them motivated and excited about their work every day. Planning Entrepreneurs set goals and make plans to reach those goals, helping them stay organized and focus on what they want to achieve. Knowledge Entrepreneurs are always curious and eager to learn new things, whether it's about their business, industry, trends, or the world around them. Social Skills Entrepreneurs are good at communicating with others, making friends, and working well in teams to achieve common goals. Open-mindedness Successful entrepreneurs are open to new ideas, willing to learn from others, and not afraid to make mistakes because they see them as opportunities to grow and improve. Empathy Entrepreneurs care about how others feel and try to understand different perspectives, which helps them build strong relationships with customers, employees, and partners. Value Customers Successful entrepreneurs focus on providing excellent products or services that meet the needs of their customers making sure they are happy and satisfied with what they offer. Risk-taking, being brave enough to try new things even if they might not work out. Open-mindedness, being open to new ideas and willing to learn from others. Next, let us proceed to the Occupational Safety and Health or OHS standards in ICT. First, let us define what is hazard. Hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. Examples of workplace hazards include frayed electrical cords, stuck precariously, Noisy machinery. Next, risk. Risk is the possibility that hazard will harm someone. Hazard in ICT environments. These are the hazards in ICT environments. First, we have physical hazards. Cables running across the floor and slippery floor are the example of physical hazard. Next, mechanical hazards, like computer chassis. For chemical hazards, 
Display cleaning chemicals, keyboard cleaning chemicals, compressed gas, dirt, and dust removers, and many cleaning solvents. Electric shock hazard. Inside computers and electronic equipment. CRT monitor high voltage hazard. When often CRT monitors. And the pipe S in organizing ICT environments. First, we have the SARI. Sorting, putting things in order. Remove discard what is not needed so that there are fewer hazards and less clutter to interfere with work. Only keep what is needed. Seaton. Orderliness proper arrangement. Place things in such a way that they can be easily reached whenever they are needed. There must be a place for everything, and everything must be in its place. Say so. Clean cleanliness. Keep workplace and things clean and polished, not trash or dirt in the workplace. Siketsu. Standardize purity. Maintain standards and keep the facility in safe and efficient order day after day and year after year. Shitsuke. Sustaining discipline commitment. Maintain cleanliness after cleaning. Consistency perpetual cleaning. Such cleaning is part of everyone's work. Benefits of 5S methodology. First, improve productivity. Second, reduce waste. Third, enhance safety. Fourth, increase employee satisfaction. Fifth, improve customer satisfaction. Sixth, improve quality. And seventh, reduce costs. Safety precautions when working in ICT environments, fire safety guidelines. The three major objectives of following safety guidelines are the following. Protect people from injury. Protect equipment from damage. And protect the environment from contamination. Safety precautions when working in the computer laboratory. First, always ground or discharge yourself before touching any part of the computer. Second, do not work alone so that there is someone who can take care of you in case of accident or emergency. Third, be careful with the tools that may cause a short circuit. Fourth, always pull the cable connector on the handle and not hold on the cable itself. Fifth, use only rubber shoes when standing on the ground or on the concrete floor. Sixth, make sure that the pins are properly aligned when connecting a cable connector. Always power off and unplug the computer before working on it. Take away any liquids such as mineral water or soft drinks near your working area or near computers. Contingency measures during workplace accidents, fire, and other emergencies are recognized. And personal protective equipment is correctly used in accordance with organization procedures and practice. 11. Hazard risks in the workplace and their corresponding indicators are identified to minimize or eliminate risk to co-workers, workplace, and environment. 12. Take necessary precautions to protect the component of the computer from damage caused by electrostatic discharge. 13. Hold the components by the edges and do not touch the ICs. Read and follow instructions in the manual carefully. 15. Do not use excessive force if things do not quite slip into place. Fire safety guidelines. 
Know the locations of fire extinguishers and how to use them, and which is to use for electrical fires and for combustible fires. Find an escape route in case of fire get out of control. Know how to contact emergency services quickly. And keep the workplace clean. Keep most solvents in a separate area. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.